In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning. Welcome to our celebration. This Mass is celebrated with the intention of Stephen Carrillo. We come before our God with, re with the recognition of our need for God's mercy and grace, and with a humble and contrite heart, we pray. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my sisters and brothers, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my sisters and brothers, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, Graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Kings. When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind, he and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, Please stay here. The Lord has sent me on to the Jordan. As the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not leave you, Elisha replied. And so the two went on together. Fifty of the guild prophets followed, and the two stopped at the Jordan. They stood facing them at a distance. Elijah took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water, which divided, and both crossed over to on dry land. When they had crossed over, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask for whatever I may do for you before I am taken from you. Elisha answered, May I receive a double portion of your spirit. You have asked something that is not easy, Elijah replied. Still, if you see me taken up from you, your wish will be granted otherwise not. As they walked on conversing, a flaming chariot and flaming horses came between them, and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. When Elisha saw it happen, he cried out, My father, my father, Israel's chariots and drivers. But when he could no longer see him, Elisha gripped his own garment and tore it in two. Then he picked up Elijah's mantle that had fallen from him and went back and stood at the bank of the Jordan. Wielding the mantle that had fallen from Elijah, Elisha struck the water in his turn and said, Where is the God, the God of Elijah? When Elisha struck the water, it divided, and he crossed over. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you and which toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children 
of men and women. Let your heart take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of people. You screen them within your abode from the strife of tongues. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Love the Lord, all you his faithful ones. The Lord keeps those who are constant and more than requites those who act proudly. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners, so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to others to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. We continue reading from the Sermon on the Mount. And um, here Jesus is bringing Jewish law to its original intent, the intent of the heart, the intent of relationship, and not merely external appearances. And right here he cites uh, three typical Jewish practices. These are practices that a devout Jew would fulfill, which as Catholics we have adopted when when um, Lent comes, when Advent comes, these are the three um, practices that we that we promote during the church, uh, during within the church: almsgiving, prayers, and fasting. Um, when Jesus cites this um, these three practices, uh, the intent is about ultimately relationship, because at the heart, that's what religion is: relationship with God, which places us in relationship to one another. And so in the first one, when, when he talks about <laughs> almsgiving, I think the, um, the spirit of this mentioning of Jesus is, is um, from the, the, the story of the Good Samaritan. Who is my brother? Who is my sister? Who is my neighbor? So almsgiving is not merely about um, getting praise from people or merely be in a, um, an external action, but rather that what we do uh, is for the sake of the other. And the spirit of this mentioning of Jesus is, is, is truly, 
Whom do I make my neighbor? Whom do I make my brother and my sister? The second one about prayer. Um, Jesus says, uh, when you pray, do not let the hip do not pray like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in synagogues. And again, this is about about um, what we do externally and what what we do manifests about our relationship with God, with others, and with ourselves. And so that what the intention is is about coming closer to God and to one and to one another. If all that we do religiously and in devotions and religious practices does not bring us any closer to God and to one another, then we have to seriously ask, why are we doing what we do religiously? Because at heart, religion is about relationship. Relationship with God and relationship with one another. And all that we do is about bringing us closer and more intimate into those relationships. And then the third one, Jesus says, do not fast. Uh, when, you, when you fast, do not, look, do not do it for others may see you. Um, again, it, he, he's pointing at how we can use any religious practice uh, to appear to be devout, to be religious, to be holy. Uh, and fasting is about, one is about mourning, Another one, uh, another meaning for fasting is it's about reconciliation. Uh, many of the times that fasting is cited in, um, in the Old Testament is about atonement. It's about being reconciled with God. It's about recognizing my need, not only for reconciliation, but also for relationship with God and with others. So when we uh, enter the practice of, of fasting, um, it's about experiencing physically in my body uh, the need for relationship. So when we abstain from food, the feeling of hunger, uh, it, it's about a reminder of my need to be fed, to be nourished by the one who in love creates me, in love sustains me, and in love calls me to himself. So again, Jesus throughout the Sermon on the Mount, he is um, given us uh, the original intent of why God entered into a covenantal relationship with Israel. It's about becoming genuine. It's about, it's about becoming holy. It's about uh, being who God says we are and the life that we are called to live. God knows the prayers written in our hearts, trusting in his loving will for us. We now offer our petitions as one body. We pray for the church. May we receive the Holy Spirit's gift of prophecy as we strive to share the good news. We pray to the Lord. For all who hold public office, may God grant them perseverance in working for the common good. We pray to the Lord. For all who are in need of God's healing in mind and body, we pray to the Lord. For our faith community, may the Lord continue to transform us in his mercy and grace, we pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may they rest in the eternal peace of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Loving Father, Hear these prayers we offer on behalf of your children throughout the world and grant them according to your will. We ask this in the name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread and wine to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us bread of life and a spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body and spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks and praise to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, he broke it, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who had fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him, with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. faith and confidence, we pray in the words that Jesus teaches us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another Christ's Lamb of God, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Let us pray. <clears throat> As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass ascended, let us go into peace and the joy of our God. Thanks. For those watching at home, we pray the prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <laughs>